Hi, first graders. Today we are going to be learning about relative magnitude. But the first thing we have to know is, what is relative magnitude? Relative magnitude is telling about how many items there are without actually counting. You need to make a smart guess or an estimate, but be sure not to count. Counting gives us exactly how many, and that's not estimating or making a smart guess. Ask, is my answer reasonable? Does it make sense? But remember, you're doing this without actually counting. And then it's important to be able to explain why you came up with this estimate. So let's see, about how many are there? Remember, we're not really counting. Let's just think to ourselves. Looking at this picture over here, are there about 220 or 200 flowers? There are about two flowers. There really are exactly three flowers if you were to count them. But remember, we're not actually counting. So the answer is two. Because my answer is reasonable and it makes sense just by looking at this picture. Looking at this picture, about how many are there? Are there about two, 20, or 200 flowers? Now remember, I'm not gonna spend time counting each individual flower. I'm just gonna use my best guess. I can say that there are about 200 flowers. It is easy to see that there is not just two flowers or even just 20 flowers for that matter. So 200 is the best guess. And my answer is reasonable because my answer makes sense. Now you can see the reason why my answer made sense is because I was able to rule out two of, two of the options. I was clearly able to eliminate two just by a quick glance at the picture. And as I looked at it a little bit more, 20 didn't really seem to make sense either. So 200 is definitely my reasonable answer. About how many are there? Let's look at this picture over here. Are there about two, 20, or 200 flowers in this picture. Now remember, I'm not spending time counting each individual flower. I'm just using my best guess. And I can say that there are about 20 flowers. It is easy to see that there are not two flowers or as many as 200. So because I can eliminate two and 200, this is what makes my answer reasonable. So 20 flowers makes the most sense. So let's review. Remember, relative magnitude means to make an estimate or a smart guess without counting. The guess or the estimate will be the best answer or reasonable answer that is close to how many there really are. So you're not gonna find an exact number because that would be counting. You're just doing your best guess based off the choices that you have. So let's practice some more. About how many are there? Are there three, 30, or 300 pieces of candy? Once again, you're not actually counting, you're just using your best guess. There are about 30 pieces of candy. Can we explain why? Well, just by looking at the picture, I can automatically eliminate three because three is such a small number. I can also eliminate 300 as an option because there would be much more pieces of candy if there were 300. So 30 is the best reasonable answer and it definitely makes sense. Let's try some more. About how many are there? Are there about three? 30 or 300 pieces of candy. So just by looking at this picture over here, what do you think would be the best reasonable answer? Well, there are about 300 pieces of candy, but can we explain why? Well, just by looking at this picture, it's pretty easy to eliminate three and 30 just because of how many pieces I actually see. Three is a very small number and 30 definitely wouldn't look like what we see in the picture. 
So 300 pieces of candy is most definitely a reasonable choice. About how many are there? Are there 330 or 300 pieces of candy? So remember, we're not actually counting, even though with something of this size, you probably are gonna be tempted to count, which is okay. But let's think about, given these three options, three, 30, or 300, what would be the best reasonable estimate of how many pieces of candy we see? Well, there are about three pieces of candy. So let's explain why. As you can see, there's a pretty small amount there. So I can easily eliminate 300 because I would have a large amount of Jolly Ranchers if there was 300. And even 30 would be much fewer than what I can see in this picture. So even though I'm tempted to count, and even if I did, that could probably help me with this answer. Three is definitely the most reasonable estimate of how many pieces of candy I see here. Now we're going to match the best number to the picture and we're going to make an estimate or a smart guess. So we're going to think there are about one, 10 and 100 balls. So let's see how we can match these numbers up. I can clearly match up the number one with these set of balls over here. Even though I can see that there is two, two is definitely closest to one. So that is the most reasonable estimate. What do you think is the most reasonable estimate for 10? Would this picture be 10 or the soccer balls be 10? It is clearly the soccer ball, balls, just based on how many are in this picture. So then we're left with the number 100. Now, the larger you get, the harder it is to count. So even though these may have been pretty easy to count and match up, we're really just relying on what would make sense in this picture. And 100 balls definitely makes the most sense. So let's review. What is relative magnitude? Rel relative magnitude is telling about how many items there are without actually counting. You make a smart guess or estimate and you be sure not to count. Counting gives us exactly how many and that's really not estimating or making a smart guess. It's also important to ask yourself, is it reasonable? Does it make sense? And you can always explain why. When you're explaining why, you're really just eliminating some of the other options to support the answer that you chose.